Now, if you haven't watched the training video on macros, you want to watch that so you know what we're talking about here. Again, macros are nothing more than just a bunch of recorded steps that you can quickly execute or run by assigning it to some keys as shortcuts like Control X or Control V to run your macro. Now, macros can be harmful to your computer in that if somebody sends you a workbook with macro in it, we don't know if that person knows anything about how to code the macro to make it so it's harmful that when you run it, it destroys your computer. There are evil people out there that will do that. So what we want to do is you want to be able to figure out how to enable security to warn us if there are macros within the workbook and to also disable them until we decide whether or not if we want to run them later on. Or we can just disable everything and just open up any workbook that has a macro in it and run it. We take our chances, but then again, when it comes to me, if I'm the only one that's, that creates macros, I trust myself to open up my own workbooks, as it were. So to get started, to be able to enable or disable the settings, you can come up here, click on the Office logo button, come down to Excel Options. In the category here, we want to go to the Trust Center, and over here, click on the Trust Center Settings button, and then we got the Macro Settings category. Well, it gives us some options. You can disable all macros without any notification, disable with notification. Now, when it comes to those notifications, you want to make sure your message category here says that we show the message if the content has been blocked. Again, the macro setting says if we block the content, disable it, well, do you want a message? <laughs> we'll make sure that you say yes, please show the message bar. So I'll say show the message bar, go back to my macro settings and say go ahead and disable all macros with notification. So let me know if there's any in there. Click OK, click OK. Now I have to close out of this macro workbook and how do I know it's a macro enabled workbook? Well first of all up at the top we have the extension XLSM. Again we talk about extensions in my Windows Vista Level 1 training video so if you want to watch that you'll learn all about that. In any case that's one way to find out. And the, of course the other way to find out if there is a macro within the workbook is and click on the view tab, go to the macros group, click on the macros button and there it is, fancy formatting. So I do have a macro. Let me close out. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the workbook here and click on the Office logo button. And since it was the most recent one I opened, I'm going to click it right here. It opens up. It disables the macro. It tells me, look, they've been disabled according to what I did in the settings. And then it gives me the warning here, the message, and also the options, where I can go ahead and click on Options and say, go ahead and enable the macros and click OK so I can go ahead and run my macros. Now that will happen every time I go ahead and open up that workbook. Now if that gets a little bit annoying because I know I'm the one who made the macro in this workbook and this is the only workbook I'm ever going to be working on for the next year, then it makes sense to me to go ahead and change those settings again to the Trust Center, Trust Center settings and macros and just enable all of them and the message bar, hey never show me anything has been blocked because maybe I'm the only one who ever works on these workbooks and I send them out to everybody else and maybe on their end maybe they don't trust me and they'll want to make sure they block these things so they can decide whether or not they want to run anything that I put into these workbooks and click OK, click OK. So when I close out of the workbook and I reopen it back up again here I get no message bar, I get no disabled notification, I can just go ahead and run my macro. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.